love all of Egypt. I love the sun, I love the sea, the river, the desert. I love my home and my family. So Egypt is everything for me. The ancient Near East is an inexhaustible font of information about our past and concepts that we can continue to draw upon for the present. I love Egypt so much. For as long as I can remember, I always have wanted to come here. I'm visiting Egypt uh, because I, I grew up in New York, and of course, you know, you see the movies, uh, Cleopatra, the Nile, that type of thing, and here you have the history uh, backdrop against the actual day-to-day uh, -day life. <laughs> the name Cairo is al Qahira. Arabic for victory. Cairo, it's very, very old city. It's a very big city, but it's really very, very beautiful city. I'm very proud of Cairo. The thing about Cairo is it's crazy and it's loud and it's out of control and it's not like any other city in the world. And I think that's what I love about it is it saps your energy while at the same time giving you the strength to keep moving or else you get run over. People here are very, very friendly. The ethos of society is, is to treat everybody courteously. They're very kind and open, very welcoming. You are a guest in their country. You will enjoy every detail in Egypt. The most attractive sight to see, the Pyramid of Giza, the Great Pyramid of King Cheops in Giza, because it's one of the world wonders and it will be one of the world wonders forever. I think the thing I love the most about the pyramids is the fact that they've been here for thousands of years. This has stood the test of time. It's our symbol, you know, something of uh, mystery, you know, something of power, energy. It's like three million stones went into this and there's something like two and a half tons each. And you just can't help but be in absolute amazement at the civilization that created this type of architectural achievement. Egyptians early on perfected iconic and highly recognizable style. They made beauty on purpose and also to make it eternal as they intended. When people hear the word Egypt, I guess some people think about, you know, ancient Egypt and the pyramids and the Sphinx and the pharaohs. Some people think about the political turmoil going on right now. And when I hear the word Egypt, I think about faith. This is a place I've always wanted to see. Like my whole life, I heard about it. I never knew anybody who had ever even come to this place. And it's kind of tough to believe I'm actually here, Mount Sinai. As a Catholic, I think it just helps me get in touch with my roots. Because everyone has heard about Moses and the Ten Commandments and it all happened right here. I think we've walked an hour so far, only two hours to go. And there's something about being up here, like this is a holy place for people of the Jewish faith, of the Christian faith, of the Islamic faith, like people of different religions coming together. It's not something that you think about or hear about all the time. It was surprisingly difficult. Going in at night and not sleeping. <sighs> Bible makes it seem very simple. Oh, Moses went up the mountain, he came down the mountain. No problem, Moses. Physically, it's the most grueling thing I've ever done. <sighs> Exhausted, but it's an amazing experience. It's not too far, I see the top of the mountain. You know, you come to this spot and people are speaking all different sorts of languages. And I'm sure having all sorts of different faiths or no faith at all. Oh boy. And you just see, what are we? But just human beings getting along, sharing an experience. Yes, it's a good feeling. I like because it's a very quiet place. Sometimes I come in here for sunset and sunrise. <laughs> Nobody was thinking about our differences. We were only thinking about this one similarity of being at the top of Mount Sinai. 
looking at that sunrise. Not all ancient cultures leave visible monuments that are both durable and beautiful. Ancient Egypt did. A depth of history that is inaccessible almost anywhere else on earth. That, perhaps, alongside the beauty of the Egyptian monuments, is what accounts for the special attraction and the special fascination that Egypt holds over the modern mind. Thank you.